So this is an eastern painted turtle, the most common of all of our native water turtles. Medium-sized turtle typified by the spots in the back of its head. I don't know if you can see the, the two spots in the back of its head. When it's out of the water and if it's not covered with mud, also the scutes or the scales in the back all line up, the, the sutures on them, the edges of them all line up to form almost like a straight line, which you might be able to see here. This particular one looks to be a male. I can't tell for sure, but the, when their nails are really, really long, um, that tends to make uh, to be a male. They show these off to the female swimming underwater on a little underwater ballet, basically, showing off their long nails to the much larger females. Uh, males also have longer tails, but of course you need two turtles in order to compare that. Um, these are omnivores. They store off their life eating mostly animal material, but the older they get, like most turtles, the more plant material they ingest. And then this is the most common of all of our um, water turtles that we have here in the Mid-Atlantic. There's I think something like over a dozen subspecies of painted turtles around the United States. The one we have here locally is the eastern painted turtle. Again, this is it right here. If you were to look underneath the shell, it's got beautiful little painted little marks on it. Um, the older they get, the more the melanistic, especially the males, get. But usually you can still see the, uh, the two spots behind its eyes. Again, this is a nice little male that's sitting here basking, warming up. Big, long toenails, which... Uh, which tells you that it is a male. And again, just uh, just trying to warm up uh, like all turtles do because they're ectothermic or cold-blooded. The most common of all our water turtles, the eastern painted turtle.